So my whole life, I struggled with this issue. Um, I snuck around. Uh, I wasn't honest with myself. A lot of times, not honest with other people. Um, and that all changed um, when I finally had my final conversation with God. Discussed with all my children, but the last thing I had to do was sit down with my pastor. Because if anybody has any issues in their life that they're struggling, and everybody does, everybody's got stuff they have to deal with. And if they have any faith in their soul whatsoever, they sit there and they go, God, why'd you do this? Why is this issue for me of identity in my head, 24 hours a day, every day, 365 days out of the year. You can't take two asthma, get plenty of sleep, wake up the next morning, and you're fine. It's just always there. It's who you are. But why? And we're going to tell you why. We're going to get into these precepts. Lord willing, this will be edifying and comforting. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well with time of this truth and of respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Baraka Thumb to you, Akim, as well as the sincere Akwath that are listening and learning. This is your brother Yahweh Sop from the Birmingham branch coming to you again with this 100% doctrine. <clears throat> and as you heard, you know, that thing there, right? Speaking on, she was con conflicted, I guess, with the soul, with the spirit. You know, she's confused. And the first thing she said was she wanted to sit down with her pastor. Now, these men deal with the word deceitfully, all right? As it speaks of in uh, 2 Corinthians 4, we start at the top of that, uh, speak on handling the word deceitfully. Now, you have your catfish eating pastors out there. You have uh, men that are not of that nation of Israel handling and Handling the word deceitful. We're going to get a scripture real quick. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 48, this is verse 10. It says, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, deceitfully. You see that? So you automatically curse from the jump. All right, ever since the beginning when you killed your brother. It says, And cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood, because we use the sword to wound our adversaries, right? We use it to cut, we use it to, you know, slice and dice, man. So cursed be you that withholdeth from you telling what you need to tell these conflicted people, which we understand that it's the works of the Lord. The first thing you should have went to uh, when someone of that uh, 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 demonic spirit comes to you, all right, you st you're supposed to speak out against it. You're supposed to bring out scriptures that will let them know, yeah, this is wrong, all right, especially with our people. As it says, uh, you shouldn't have no... Uh, Sons of Israel, no sodomites, roughly paraphrased. Okay, this is Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on woman's garment. You see that? For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy power. And again, we're going to explain why the title is written as it is Your heaven is our hell. And vice versa, which meaning our heaven will be your hell. And this heaven will be established right here on earth, vocab. Right here on earth, uh, uh, Bruce. <laughs> you know, your mama named you Bruce, I'm going to call you Bruce. You see, inside joke. But again, we're explaining why these people are who they are and what they are. The scripture tells us, let's go here then. Uh, Job 9 and 24 that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? The earth is given in, into the hands of the wicked. So therefore, your heaven, it has to be out here because we have to deal with this stuff. We have to see. We have to witness. Psalms 12 and 8 tells us the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted, the extremely unpleasant men. And again, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Again, why are these people are the way they are? Because Yahweh Shah, through his father Yahweh, all right, has gave you up to that affection, that vile, uh, detestable thing. <laughs> you know? 
Romans 1 and 25 gives us the answers. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? What did they do? They cast the words behind them. Psalms 50, right? Around the 17th verse. So you, you change the truth and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Exactly. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is blessed forever. Barakatai Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 26. Because you did this thing, right? This is what's going to take place. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vow affections. Because vow men are exalted. You give a, a, a once, you know, sports player of the year. Uh, now you're giving a woman of the year. Now you have in Kentucky uh, or, or what have, whatever state that was. You know, you, you, you mean to tell me we don't have any women, feminine women out here that can win a, a Miss a pageant? This is why this is our hell, man. Their heaven is our hell. You understand? And that hell is a condition. It can be in the ground. Well, the worms cover, or you can uh, be in a condition. And this is our condition. Their heaven is our hell. Therefore, our heaven will be their hell. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Yeah, you got women are trans, trans, uh, 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 and, and again, it's no such thing. That That's no such thing. This is a made-up construct in your mind that this is what you can be. It's impossible, biologically impossible, for you to be born one way and to all of a sudden, in the middle of your, <laughs> your, your thought process, you want to change. Verse 27, and likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust towards one another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. See, that's an error. And we see it as an error from the ruler. That be, man. Meaning the Esau, Edom. You know? 1 Corinthians 6 and 9 mm -hmm. tells us what? Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Do you not know this? And this is what the scriptures is giving us. A strict and... and to the point in detail on who will not be entering into the kingdom. But you're going to be there. Your ass going to be there. But it's not in a situ it's not in a state what you think it's going to be. It says, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor infeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And it goes on to say that these are drunk as uh, extortioners, so forth and so on. They will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Mainly starting with our people, these two-thirds, all right, these rejects, and the other heathen nations. But guess what? You're going to be there, all right? Now, our two-third uh, men and women and children, hey, they're going to get their reward, okay? But that's going to be after death, after excruciating pain, all right? After death by pain, as the scripture tells us. You see? Because guess what? If you're not speaking out against it, all right, then that means you're for it. You see? There's no straddling the fence where you howl by Shem Yahweh Jude, verse 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner. So it wasn't just Sodom and Gomorrah that was uh, uh, wicked, you know? It was, the, it was the neighboring cities as well. And you go to that region now, it's, it's, it's irrefutable evidence that gives you a right, uh, uh, the, the, the insight, that gives you uh, landmarks, they show, they show you brimstone, you know, uh, buildings that was once was turned to ashes, man. That's the power of the Lord, man. Again, in like manner. Giving themselves over to what? Fornication. We just read that uh, fornicators will not enter into the kingdom of the, of the Most High. All right? Not such as a, uh, you know, you worshiping other gods, other power. You ask your pastor, 
how can I deal with my identity? And he tells you, well, you good. Love, the God loves you. Well, you're dealing with the word deceitfully, man. A man should not have long hair. But if you tell him, oh, you can just do what you want. You can grow long hair. You can grow dreads. You know, you can line yourself up. You dealing with the word deceitfully, man. And going out the strange flesh or set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So that means Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is coming with vengeance. Right? Of eternal fire. You see? And that fire still burns to this day, man. Within the souls of Sodom, you Sodomites. <laughs> you know? You see that? So again, if you're not speaking against this, which of course is a shame to speak of those things which are done. <clears throat> uh, what's that? Ephesians 5 and 12. Ephesians 5 and 12 tells us, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Hey, as the brother Barack said, man, if you trans, uh, you know, you bring a, you know, hypersonic man from the past, from, from Sodom and Gomorrah, and drop him over here in, in, in Babylon the Great, man, he'll cattail out of here, man. He'll run, run like him, he'll be so afraid. All right, but you people celebrate this type of shit, man. And if you ain't against it, then that means you for it. Watch me when I tell you. This spot is an agreement with men that just say they are a woman and they can go down there with their penis and get into the women's section. Is that what you're saying? What, what, really? What law? What law? So women can go into the men's with their breasts. Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't. Y'all wouldn't come back either. Yeah, get your money back. You got a man with his penis talking about he's a woman. He ain't no woman. Uh uh. Yeah, give her money back. There's no such thing as transgender. He has a dick. Okay? He has a penis. He has penis is hanging out. Okay, no, I'm not one. Actually, I'm a woman who knows how to stand up and speak up for my right. As a woman, I have a right to feel comfortable yes. without a man yes. exposing himself, okay? No, you go somewhere else. Okay, so that's right. No, he's not a transgender. He has a penis, just like you do. And so this question was always in my heart. And sitting, I, I sat down with my pastor. And you know what? I thought, is there a reason for this? Am I doing the right thing? Do I need to come out and make a difference in probably the most marginalized community in the world? After long thought, I said, you know what? At this point in my life, my kids are raised, everybody's fine. Maybe it's time I take care of myself. Because when that day comes and you go up to the pearly gates, and you're walking up the stairs and you're seeing God in front of you and you just ask that question, did I do a good job? Did I do the right thing? And just hope he says, hey, come on in. I did a good job. You see what I'm saying? Nothing good, <laughs> nothing good will come out of you, all right, uh, uh, coming up to the most high. You're not even going to deal with the most high. You see that? This is why we see you're not condemning. You're condoning. Okay? This is therefore is, is your heaven is our hell, Esau. Just like Lot, you know, was vexed with the filthy conversation thereof, man. We are the same way. All right? And you heard that woman, man. You know, you got little girls out there, but, hey, I'm, I can identify as that. I can identify as this. Who makes these laws? Who can coach, who control controls? All right, uh, uh, the the construct of these things. You see, this is Ecclesiastes twelve and fourteen. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment, every work into judgment, with every secret thing. Give a damn if you uh, uh, 
conflicted with yourself. We gave you the reason why you're such. This is your fucking heaven. Therefore, you can do right laws, uh, do what you do to all the inhabitants of the earth. You, you can do it because the Most High will let until he be taken out of the way. It says whether it be good or whether it be evil. And we see the works thereof are evil. Who is trying to justify a man, you know, <laughs> He got, he got his thing all out of the spa, man, in front of little children and stuff. Who's trying to justify? You see E. You see Karen. You see Ken and Karen trying to justify this shit because the laws on the books give you the liberty to do such things. But with the most high is not so. And you fucking catfish eating pastors and you Edomite pastors out there. Hey, you're going to get judged, man. You're going to get fucked up. You see? Sit down with your pastor. When I walk up to the pearly gate, all that shit is off. You're not going to be uh, uh, looking at the New Jerusalem, man. You're not even going to get close to it, man. Fuck wrong with y'all. You thinking it it involves everybody now. Y'all done, y'all done bathed in the sun, live deliciously. Got your shit in 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 in, in Mar a Lago and and you know Turks and Caicos. You got you you just seized the, the the world, the beaches, the, the the great lands, the good food. Now all of a sudden everybody gonna make it the fuck out of town, man. That's the end. This is all before I get you know spirit getting riled up around here. Daniel two and four to four, and in the days of these kings. Yeah, these wicked ass kings, man. Your Bidens, your your Putins, your Trudeau, Trudeaus, your Borises, all these guys, man. Your, your Kim Jong Uns. And in the days of these kings, shall the Most High of Heaven set up a kingdom. See, this the this the kingdom we're speaking of. This the kingdom we're hastening to come which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. So you're not going to partake in the pearly gates and in the gold streets. You might just give you a hologram. This is how we roll. This is how we living. This is how it shines rulership, man. You know? It says, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, these wicked-ass kingdoms, these spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, Tel Aviv, you got the biggest, you know, uh, uh, happy parade. You know, over here, you, you got leftovers of the fucking uh, uh, pride, month, And the pump is being brought down, man. You see that? And it shall stand forever. What's going to stand forever? The kingdom that Yahweh Shai is going to set up, man. When she's starting with his, with his servants, man. Building this, third, this last spiritual temple, man. That's, that's going to stand forever, man. You see that? So with that, Lord willing, it's edifying and comfort, man. On to the next one. Shalom.